guys, Bananiac here. So I've been asked many times what books have inspired me to pursue a degree in dietetics or go vegan or to get more fit and just inspire me as a person to, to get better and better. And here are a few books that I highly recommend. Let's check them out. Okay, so if there's one book that you should be starting off right away if you're clueless about plant-based nutrition and the benefits of a plant-based diet, I would recommend The Starch Solution. This is the book that you need to start on if you haven't read anything about plant-based diets. This book will tell you everything from the benefits of eating a starch-based diet for your health as well as the benefits of a starch-based diet for the environment. This is a fantastic book by Dr. John McDougall. It's called The Starch Solution. Highly recommend this. The next one I would recommend is The China Study, the most comprehensive study ever done in the field of nutrition. This was written by Dr. T. Colin Campbell, as well as his son, Thomas Campbell. Highly recommend this book. This book not only talks about the correlations between animal protein and many cancers, many diseases such as osteoporosis, and how they're positively correlated. It also talks about the insides of public health politics and, and all this stuff. Dr. Campbell is a very experienced scientist. He's a true scientist. Highly recommend reading this book if you're into finding out more about nutrition and the links to diseases as well. Another great book by the same Dr. T. Colin Campbell is the book called Whole. This is a great book. It just it's, it's so simple what he recommends in here. He recommends eating food in the whole state. That makes the, the most sense to me, I know for sure, and getting away from this reductionist view because people in the field of science would so much rather focus on the mechanism and get down to the specific nutrients and what they do. But Dr. Campbell's like, forget that. Let's eat whole plant foods and have the symphony of all the nutrients work together and that's what nutrition is. It's not about singling out one nutrient or another. It's kind of like astronomy. It's like saying you know all the billions and billions isn't even the word. All the stars that exist out there but you don't. You don't know how many there are. Same with the nutrition. We don't even know all the nutrients. Eat food in their whole state. That's what Dr. Campbell is trying to get at. And I should say this is also co-authored by Howard Jacobson. Okay, so if you're looking for a book on diabetes, this is a book for you. Dr. Neil Barnard's program for reversing diabetes. Highly recommend this book. It talks about the link between, again, animal based foods and high fatty foods such as the oils and how a high fat diet leads to type 2 diabetes. It also does mention a few things on type 1 diabetes. Type 1, unfortunately there's no cure so to speak of it but on type 2 it is very very easy, very easy to reverse. So highly recommend checking out this book. Um, let's see, I also have a couple other from Dr. Neil Barnard. Power Foods for the Brain. This is a great book. It emphasizes on neurological health, um, you know, diseases such as Alzheimer's and dementia and preventing those with whole foods. Again, whole plant foods. And it's cool because it not only talks about diet, but it also talks about other things you might not be conscious about if you haven't learned them or heard of them. And that is getting away from metals, heavy metals, so such as like iron, copper, um, aluminum, getting away from those because those have been correlated with, with dementia and other neurological disorders. So this is a great book if you're looking to boost your brain. Highly recommend Power Foods for the Brain. Let's see, got Dr. Neil Barnard's uh, cookbook, uh, excellent cookbook. All this stuff is low fat, high carbohydrate, plant-based, vegan great cookbook. Dr. Neil Barnard, again, I swear I have most of his books for free just by volunteering at PCRM or going to his talks. Dr. Neil Barnard is, is such a great person. He just wants the information out there. 21 day weight loss kickstart. So if you're someone who is coming from a standard American diet and really wants something to just kickstart right into this program, this is the book for you. It, gives you easy steps on how to transition to a plant-based diet and how to do it step-by-step step so 
this is a great book um, if you're looking for something like that. Next book I should mention, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. Come on, this is our number one killer right here. And Dr. Caldwell Usselstyn has done great, great work showing to reverse, not just prevent, but reverse our number one killer. He has he has some amazing work here and just to show you guys this he, sh he has shown the reversal of coronary artery disease it's it's amazing this this book I think the whole world needs to read this book because right now heart disease is the number one killer in most countries that I I don't need to say anything else about this book read this book next is his son Rip Esselstyn with the engine 2 diet and my beef with meat. And these are honestly really great books. I know his father is very concerned with the science, but Rip does such a great job making it simple and easy to understand for anyone to pick up these books and just transition and get right into a plant-strong diet. So um, honestly, these are great books, very simple to read, and I would recommend these books to anyone who doesn't really have that nutrition and science background. It's very easy to read. Another one of my favorites is The Pleasure Trap. It's by Dr. Douglas Lyle and Dr. Alan Goldhammer. Neither of them are medical doctors, but they come from a very interesting point of view. Dr. Lyle is a psychologist, he has a PhD, and Dr. Alan Goldhammer, he is a chiropractor. They both share their unique point of views. Dr. Lyle does a great job showing the links between why people do the things they do and people who may be saying that they're bad people because they're not eating healthy or you know they can't get fit or anything like that no this book will explain to you exactly why you do things the way you do them and it's because you seek pleasure it's because you avoid pain and conserve energy I mean it all makes sense he does a really great job on that and Dr. Alan Goldhammer he actually has a facility called True North Health he has a program where he does water fasting and to be honest, I'm not a big fan of water fasting. I'd much rather have people get on a healthy plant-based diet with lots of whole plant foods and start building good habits on top of that, such as fitness routines. But I do understand that there are some circumstances which can greatly be benefited by water fasting. So Dr. Alan Goldhammer is the guy I recommend on water fasting for sure. So if you're curious about the psychological factors that's behind food and why people eat the things they do, and do the things they do, this is the book for you. So I'm sure most of you have seen Forks Over Knives, a documentary, but this is just the book version. If you just want a summary of basically all the nutrition books that I've shown you, they're all pretty much in here and they, it does have a section with recipes like most of these books do. They have a lot of recipe sections. But if you want a summary of all the plant-based doctors that you have seen me present, this is a great book just to get a quick summary of, uh, of all the research everyone's presenting. And definitely check out the documentary if you haven't already, Forks Over Knives. If you're looking to get fit and build some muscle, Vegan Bodybuilding and Fitness by Robert Cheek is for you. This book is awesome. I mean, Robert not only shows you that a plant-based diet is the most ethical thing you can do for the animals and the environment, but it's the most healthiest thing you can do for your body I mean just look at him look how jacked he is he's huge and he knows what he's doing he Robert eats lots of whole plant-based foods and he has a whole program on his fitness routine and his diet and this is just such a great book for anyone who's trying to build muscle and get fit or even trying to do cardio stuff if you're not into weightlifting he also has great tips on cardio so such a great all-around fitness book but especially for those looking to get into the bodybuilding scene so check this book out so another great book on fitness is called eat and run by scott jerick i'm currently reading this right now so i can't really give you too much just finish the first two chapters but it's pretty cool how this guy was raised you know slaughtering his own animals to eat to becoming a super athletic plant-based runner ultra marathon runner that is running over a hundred miles on some races you know doing it all on the plant-based side so great inspiring book and he does ha have some running tips so this is a great book so another one of my favorites is called carb the fuck up by durian rider seriously this guy is awesome i have met durian rider at the woodstock food festival and he is such an amazing guy he's a phenomenal cyclist and 
he has been doing the vegan diet for, for a long time and he's a very popular YouTuber. So he shares all that information in Carb the Fuck Up. He does have the ebook version out of Carb the Fuck Up. Highly recommend reading this book. He goes through diet tips, he goes through lifestyle tips such as sleeping, drinking enough water. He goes through fitness tips, cycling tips, if you want to become a great cyclist. He gives tips on YouTube, he gives tips on being social, he gives tips on everything. He gives tips on carving up to living a life to the fullest. Great book, great guy, highly recommend reading that book. So these are all great books. As you can see, I have like stacks and stacks of books here. They're all great reads. I recommend every single one of them and the unique information each book has to offer. You know, I'm, I'm so thankful to have these guys around. I can't imagine doing the vegan thing, say 30, 40 years ago, where most of this research hadn't even come out. I honestly can't imagine becoming a dietitian and sharing this great knowledge with the people. So. I'm very thankful for these guys. These guys are my heroes. Highly recommend checking these out. Um, I do have a link down below if you guys want to buy any of those books. Some great deals. But heck, you can even go on YouTube and type up any of these authors. They have plenty of free material. Check out their websites. Free stuff all over the place. So no need to even buy these books. But if you want something a little bit more, definitely check out their books. Lots of great information. And a quick tip before you actually go in the books, hit up the dollar store and get up a small notebook and take some notes while you read them. Because sometimes, I know for me, I have the worst memory in the world. I'll read an interesting fact and you know, a few weeks or months, I might not remember it again. So keeping a log and keeping all my facts in here in a, in a notebook where I can easily reference facts that I've read through these books you know, it helps me remember it a lot better. So even just the act of writing helps. So keep notes, uh, spend your money wisely. These are awesome books. These are the guys that are really getting changed out in the nutrition world, the science world, the fitness world, the plant-based world. They're the ones changing the world. And that's what we have to do. We have to spread this knowledge to as many people as possible. Recommend any of these books, recommend their names so people can look them up on YouTube with their free materials or, or give them their websites or something. Let people borrow books, spread this knowledge around because it's too good to hold in the few hands. Get it out to the masses and get this world vegan. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what are some of your favorite books or documentaries or any other piece of information that has inspired you to change your life in a better way whether it has been through a plant-based diet, maybe it has been through avoiding animal products out of an ethical choice, maybe it has been through an environmental or a fitness reason, whatever it has been, post your inspiration down below. I love to learn what has inspired any of you guys. And if you guys want to find out more about me, you can visit Bananiac.com or you can hit up Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Type in Bananiac and I will surely show up for you. So thanks for watching. Subscribe down below for more vegan tips and videos. Give this video a like and we will see you guys next time. Any requests, send them down below. All right, see you guys.